Dolly by the barry. I can admit I like the party. I spent the grip, I swipes the cardi. When I high summer drip, my pricey gummy. Uh. I'm the swami, I feel hip cat. I'm freaky fit that I can rip that. Ice on a wrist like ice a fish jet. When I like with a bitch that spicy, get that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's such a pleasure to have you. So as you guys know, on this channel, Sustainability Matters, we encourage imperfect sustainability. So here are some sustainability tips to encourage you to be imperfectly sustainable. So here's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in my next video. So the first boots we are going to style are my retro boots and I don't have many but this one looks almost like the one that I currently have in my collection. So let's do this guys. Vintage retro boot number one is this gorgeous piece that I managed to buy about almost 20 years ago now. And guys, this boot, every single time I wear it, it gets attention. I think it's because it's not often that you find a boot in navy blue with such shocking orange laces. And it's a nice pointed toe, elegant boot as well. So it's gorgeous. It's a statement piece, guys. Actually, it's an exclamation point piece so i really really love to pair this piece with very low-key items and that's primarily because it's such a striking piece and i love it oftentimes i would pair it with something that is monochromatic in either black or brown brown pairs beautifully with orange and navy blue and because this piece has been in my closet for such a long time, oh, I love this piece. <laughs> I often gravitate towards it when it's not necessarily trending as it is right now. But I have decided to definitely dust it off and bring it back out so that we could style it for this fall because the lace-up boot is such a huge deal right now so for me styling this piece is pretty easy i often gravitate towards my short knee length pair of jeans oh in my opinion i think it pairs beautifully with it because what it does is that the boot becomes the focal point which means that all the other items on my body they take a secondary place and they're okay with that because this boot is definitely the it thing of the moment and i'm really enjoying styling this it's perfect to run errands in because that heel guys ah. It's perfect. For this next style, all I simply did was to swap the chunk in it. I am still wearing the knee length pair of jeans and this black and white chunk in it that I absolutely love. I've had it for over 
8 to 10 years now? Yeah, between that time frame. It's a piece that is 100% acrylic. So it's definitely not a friendly fiber. But I've had it for ages, so I'll be wearing this piece to death along with this boot. I think it pairs beautifully with this boot. And of course, ignore the mess at the back. My apologies. I was packing away stuff to be donated. So yeah, my apologies. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hey guys, I know that you're new here, but don't be shy. Check out my videos, check out my hauls, my lookbooks, my outfits of the days, my mini vlogs, and while you're here, click on my Facebook page and of course my Instagram page and learn about me some more. <laughs> Thanks so much for dropping by. See you in all of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. It's right there. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. So my retro vintage-esque boot number two is very similar to this piece. Oh, I love those heels. I got this piece about four to five years ago from Zara. Oh my God, guys. The details on this boot, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, I would just show you, this boot pairs beautifully with almost anything in my closet. Blacks, beiges, browns, uh, and of course whites. It's just a beautiful piece. And it's a piece that I also wear in the summer, so I just love it. So the next set of boots we are going to style are my combat chunky boots <laughs> and I'll be using the word chunky lightly. As you could see, chunky boots are everywhere. Prada has it, Bottega, Veneta, oh my god, but guys, this is definitely not me. This is not my style. If you know me quite well, you would know that. This is what my style looks like and the closest that I've gotten to chunky boots are these and as you can see there's nothing really chunky about them <laughs> so yeah guys this is how I do chunky is pretty interesting in that this is the only piece I had in my closet for quite a long time with that chunky threaded details on the soles and guys 
as you could see it's not very very chunky it's in this cowboy boots design and what made me gravitated towards it was that inner lining animal print detail oh my god i love this boot and then almost immediately i had to get this boot because of circumstances that demanded it guys i fell down one winter and i had a concussion so it triggered the purchase of this boot to make sure that you're well prepared for those slippery condition outside it's something with grip underneath and that is practical as well as functional forward to 2020 oh my god guys you may have remembered this boot because it's a recent purchase we went thrifting and oh oh this boot is a bit orgasmic seriously just looking at it guys the details on this dot matting boot as I said, this is how I do chunky. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a comment below and let me know. And remember to always love yourself, accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and gorgeous. Love ya!